when an Afghan police officer was continually abusing a little Afghan boy, tying him to a post to rape the little guy, the boy and his mother were desperate to stop the attacks. Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here, and the rape of children is something that we must all step up against. In Afghanistan, a Muslim nation, homosexual men prey on little boys as an accepted part of the culture. So the boy and his mother turned to the only men they knew they could trust, the men wearing the flag of the USA. American soldiers. The mother and little boy went to Sergeant First Class Charles Martland and told him of their terrible ordeal and begged him to do something to protect the boy. Martland did the right thing. He reported the incident to his superiors and expected them to do the right thing, but he was shocked when they laughed it off. Under the Obama administration, Islamic child molesting is untouchable. Stopping the rape of little boys might offend the Muslims, and we all know how liberals feel about that. There are hundreds of reports of American soldiers and Marines having to listen to the screams of little boys being raped by Muslim homosexuals and not being allowed under the Obama rules to do anything about it. I've said it before and I say it again. Barack Obama is the most evil man to ever occupy the White House and I will also say that the entire Democrat Party applauds everything Obama stands for. Well, fortunately, the USA still has some real men left, and Charles Martland is one of them. No American man can stand by and allow a child to be raped. Martland paid that child raping Afghan a visit and beat him bloody. And now the Army wants to kick Mar Martland out of the Army. This is unbelievable. Martland should be receiving a commendation for protecting that little boy. Thankfully, some members of Congress are speaking up boldly in support of Martland. Listen up, America. This is not just an Afghanistan problem. This filthy lifestyle is establishing itself in the USA under the Obama administration. Removing the age of consent laws is a top priority for the homosexual militants. They want full access to little boys. Why do you think they fought so hard to get into the Boy Scouts? Why do you think so many homosexuals become teachers? Why do you think so many became Catholic priests? Why do you think that universities that get huge grants from liberal Democrats are suddenly reporting research that sexual pleasure in little children might be a good thing? They are laying the groundwork for the next step in the sex monsters assault on America, the legalization of pedophilia. If the liberal left get their way, child molesting will soon be celebrated just like homosexuality now is. Welcome to Barack Obama's fundamentally transformed America, a nation now officially at war with God. The Bible in Isaiah 520 says, woe to those who call evil good and good evil. And when it says woe, it means that the hammer of God will fall on them. Now this is one reason that the Outlaws Chapel came into being. It's time for the Christian men and women to take a stand against these monstrously evil practices and the people pushing them on our nation. The sex monsters are coming for our children. Which side are you on? Now, if you believe in this mission, then consider joining the Outlaws Chapel. $10 a month keeps it a troll-free zone, and we will do some good work together. Go to www.outlawschapel.com and join up but only if you are ready to get into the fray, to invest your life in a way that will make a difference. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God again.